a lot of rain yesterday. I'm glad I pulled my traps off that other spot because I know I wouldn't have get, been able to get back out where those muskrats are. It'd be too dangerous until this freezes back up. Uh, here, I got a lot of, a lot of ice I'm staying close to the edge. It's a mess. <clears throat> and I got leaky boots. Fourth pair of boots this year. Stuff might have set off my trap. <clears throat> I could bitch to set up in my leaky boots. <laughs> Don't see my trap. Don't see it. Lock the trap. I've seen nothing floating out there anyway. Beaver. Uh, not a real big one. That's cool. So I've got this old. Uh, well, it's a it's a beaver lodge. It's covered with sticks and mud, but I don't think they're using it anymore, other than a feeding den. I still have to treat it like a lodge, so I have to stay uh, ten feet away. But um, it looks like the channel runs right through here right down here and I put in a 330 over here uh, put that one in yesterday and then I put one in over here channel run right up in here I'm looking down in there I didn't make a catch it looks like I need to be over into the middle of the channel more um, look like it actually might have been pushed aside a little bit but uh, this one over here, I, I was down in there, I actually did make a catch. I caught a muskrat down in there, looks like. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if muskrats are, are using this channel, or, or using that uh, old den up there. Let me chop this out. Caught a big old muskrat in my 330. I'm standing on an old beaver lodge here. It's, uh, it's not active anymore. But uh, down here, right by that clump right there, found a nice spot for a bottom edge set. I'm pretty sure the muskrats are using this here, so put in a bottom edge set over there, see what happens. So I'm standing on that beaver lodge. I had that bottom edge set right over by that clump. Looks like I got a muskrat over there. Water level came down a lot. <clears throat> Where are you? Nice. Just set that one back up. I'm doing some scouting around. I found this big old beaver den out here. 
They used to be in here, they aren't anymore. Um, they got a channel coming in here. Looks like a spot right over here. I put in an edge set. I gotta, I gotta stay 10 feet away from that. See there's bobcat tracks going in here, coming out the other side. I bet you that bobcat just sat in there, waited for a muskrat to pop up, had his lunch. Probably made a killing in there. Anybody home? Through here, checking this out. So this is the uh, same crossover I caught the beaver yesterday. It looks like my track is set off and gone. I don't see nothing. It's hard to see with that water flowing. I'm down in here. Let's see what we got. Muskrat. So I got this area here, the beaver dam. There's frag mites out here. Got a little lodge right here. Um, I look for a channel over here. And this is another little lodge. Out over here, see a little push up over here. Stop through here, found the channel. And, uh, put two, two one tens in here, one on each side. Um, I didn't have any wedges with me, so I just used another piece of wood to, to wedge that. 110 in there. See one of these connected. Another nice wrap. Sweet. Definitely set that back up. We got these beavers over here. The um, got the old dam that runs along here. It runs up here. It runs up to another little dam they got over here. <clears throat> they um they built this up so when they're collecting their food they get up in there and get food. It also runs up over here. Now they're probably not gonna be going up there for food now. But the reason I set it up I mean, they might. What I did is I found a nice bottom edge set here. You can see that? It's a nice edge there. Right up in the uh, old dam here, right up in there, they got it hollowed out so they go up in there and feed. So that changes things. Um, not only that, but mink and otter muskrats be going up in here so maybe if they're in the area so this set uh, here where the uh where i got that den up in there feeding den i see it, it, it got tripped off they're probably coming in with a stick in their mouth and, and hit the trigger um more than likely hmm i'm gonna reset it this crossover right here is produced for me uh, four days in a row now. Looks like I got a big beaver in there. Before I reset this, I'm going to chop all the ice out of there. Look at this. I brought gauntlets today. I'm actually going to use my gauntlets. Looks like 
good sized beaver. Space for holding. No, probably not. Maybe a little bit. Throw this on the ice, and we'll freeze right down to it. <clears throat> I'll be careful, I'm gonna step on his foot. I've had where I humped up my canabar and beaver float away under the ice out there where you can't get it. This happened to me on a river one time. So I'm put my foot on this foot and hold him there. A 50 pounder. I put a 220 in that channel over there. Let me check that. And it looks like I got another muskrat. Scrap push up here. Look at the otter poop on here, huh? Fortunately, that otter just came through here uh, about oh, 10 days ago, two weeks ago. Just seen this old sign. Could be weeks before it comes back through. Let's see what happens. Oh, still chasing muskrats here. Uh, yesterday, caught one over on this side. Looks like I got one right on this side today. Another nice rat. Sweet. This location, the crossover on the dam here, has produced in the past four days. And you see down here, it's like you got another beaver in there.
leak in that boot. Leaky boot. That ain't good. Okay. Wish they made a pair of boots that could last the season. Pounder. 